this is Nash with GrowMyOilBusiness.com and today I've got some great news for you. Your newsletters are ready for you to load them up and send them out. So in this quick video I'd like to show you how to open up, load up your newsletters in MailChimp, inside your MailChimp account, customize them and make them ready so that you can send them out to your list. So first things first, you must first log into your MailChimp account. You go to MailChimp.com and then click on login at the top and log in with your username and password. Once you're in, you're going to see this page. This is what they call the dashboard. Over, over time, as you use your account, you'll start noticing a few other things in this dashboard. It'll maybe mention um, new opt-ins that you have, people who unsubscribe, things of that nature. But here's what you're going to do to send out your newsletters. Every time you send out a newsletter, you create what they call a campaign. Now, so if, let's say, let's for example say this we're in March, and we're going to send the newsletter for March. Well, so you go in and you create the campaign for March. Well, next month you're going to send out your newsletter, and you go in and you create your campaign for April. So every time you send out a newsletter, you create a campaign. So let's get started uh, and I'll show you how to do that exactly step by step. And by the way, if you've sent out newsletters using MailChimp before, you might notice that this process is a little bit different. Because it integrates with our systems, a few things have changed, but don't worry, it's just as simple. So let's get started. Here's what you do. You go to the menu and click on Campaigns. When you go there, uh, you're going to see this page. Here is where you can create campaigns. Well, find the, the, red, the big red button on the left side that says Create Campaign. Click there. And when you do, you're going to see several options, but you'll always click on this one, Regular Old Campaign. When you click there, you'll see the next screen that will basically ask you to select your list. Who do you want to send this newsletter to? Well, in your account, you're going to have di perhaps different lists. You might have a list just for your prospects and customers, or you might have another list just for your team members, and you might even have another list for, uh, I don't know, uh, people I met at networking meetings, or whatever the case may be. Select the list to, who, to which you want to send this newsletter to. In this case, I'm going to select the one that says my list of contacts. Because I'm using this as an example, you'll notice that mine says I have zero recipients. In other words, it would, no one would ever get this. Uh, but in your case, it will say maybe 70 recipients or 100 recipients or 500 or w w however many people you have on that list. So click on the little uh, dot next to the name and then click on the red button towards the bottom of the screen on the right side that says next step set up and you click there and on the setup screen it's going to ask you for basic information uh, that your email will contain when they get it for example um, name your campaign this will be for your reference only so if we're sending this in March I'm going to put March's newsletter March's and if I'm sending it to the customer newsletter I'm going to put the March's customer newsletter this way I know which one it was if I'm sending to customers and then another one to my team uh, then the email subject now this is what people will will see when they get that email in other words your subject needs to be appealing so that people see it and then want to click on it so uh, in this example I'm not going to make it very appealing but um, let's just put something March uh, essentially I think I spelled that Whoop! I misspelled that essentially I don't know, healthy newsletter. I'm just making this up as we go. So this is my the subject of that email. Then who it's coming from? Well, here I've got my name because it's coming from me. In your case, you would have your name in there. And then if the if when they get that email, they re, they want to reply to it, which you want them to do that. Uh, what is the reply to email address? In other words, uh, what email do you want to get their message from at? So I added here this example here has my uh, the email I use for my marketing company. You could have if you had a Gmail, you could put your Gmail or whatever email you use for your business. Put it in there. Um, the whoops. Um, then moving on to where it says personalize the to field 
uncheck that to keep it simple. Afterwards, you can come and, and look at MailChimp's uh, resources, frequently asked questions, etc. And they explain each step uh, in detail so that you can learn what they do. But for, for this specifically, you don't need this checked. So just uncheck it to keep it simple. Then everything else on this page, you can ignore. You don't have to worry about at the moment. Like I said, if you'd like to know what they do, if you'd like to connect to Twitter and Facebook, then you can go in and check MailChimp's support uh, section and they will tell you exactly what each thing does and how to do it. But for now, just make sure you can ignore all of these settings right now. So then you click on the next step design, which is the big red button located at the bottom right of the screen. And when you go there, you're going to see a few options. But remember, just follow the steps in this video and you won't get confused or you won't have to worry about too many options. And so the one option you'll have to select here each time in order for this to work is My Templates. Okay, so select a template option and you select My Templates. For this, select My Templates. Don't select pre-designed, basic, or draw, drag and drop. Go to My temp Templates. So you click there, and when you do, you're going to see the different uh, Grow My Oil business templates that you can choose from. Now, depending on what you got, depending on what you invested in, you might see six different options or three different options. If you got both the My Team newsletter and the Prospects and Customers newsletters, then you should see six options, such as what you see on the screen right now. If you simply got one or the other, then you will see three options. So, over here at a glance, it gives you, it lets you more or less see what they look like. So, and you can follow, you'll know what to choose by the title. I've titled them in a way that you can easily identify them. So, my team newsletter, Lavender. So, this is the newsletter for your team members. And the Lavender just indicates that it's the one that has the Lavender picture at the top, as you can see the my team now moving on to the next one my team newsletter left column well this is newsletter for your team and it has the column on the left it also has a different heading at the top then there's the my team newsletter also for your team right column so this one has a column on the right side and a different header at the top moving over to the next one now we're moving over to the prospects and customers newsletter so the, this, these newsletters are meant only for your prospects and customers this one is the lavender design it has the picture of the lavender at the top moving on to the next one prospects and customers newsletter left column so the design is the same as the ones we just saw so but this one specifically for your prospects and customers so it has a different heading at the top and it has a column on the left and then lastly the prospects and customers newsletters once again meant for your prospects and customers only and it has the column on the right so determine who you're sending this to in our case when we started I said this would be the customers newsletter and so then I pick the template that I like let's go with the lavender one I do like this one and then when you put your cursor over it a, a, a blue bar appears that says edit and a little drop down comes down and you have two options edit layout edit code always 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 I can't stress this enough always select edit layout and when you do, the newsletter will open up. And now this is where the fun begins. Here is where you can personalize your newsletter. And so the things at the top you may ignore. Just scroll down to the op to the to this area where you see the newsletter. And um, here's let me show you right now what you can change. Your picture you will always be able to change. Of course, this is just an example. So this there's a default it's not really your picture when you see yours it will be your picture so uh, you may change the picture you may edit your contact information and you may edit the personal note at the top okay scroll if you scroll down everything else that's already here every any of the content that's already here I would suggest to not even touch it uh, this way it won't mess up the next one that you like next month and things like that but then moving down to the bottom, the mark your calendars, upcoming events, this area you may edit as well. And lastly, you may edit your phone number at the bottom and your phone number at the very bottom. Okay, so these are the areas that you may edit. How do you know, let's say you forget, how do you know what can you edit and what can't you? Well, 
let's say you click here on edit whenever and notice one thing whenever I put my cursor my mouse over a section and you know you can see that they're marked by little boxes little blocks whenever I put my cursor over a block it says edit at the top so if you click on edit a new window opens up and it allows you to edit that so here for example I would put personal note from Nash you could even change the title it doesn't have to be personal note from Nash it can be whatever you want it to be and then you use this area to share your own personal message so if there's a message of the month that you want to share a story something to make this completely unique this is uniquely yours and this is the message that you have to your prospects and customers or to your team if it's in the my team newsletter in any case sign the newsletter you know type it in finish it and when you're done you may click save now but before we do that I do want to let you know that you have full control over how you want this to look so if I wanted let's say National Boyayan to be bold I would simply click on the bold icon at the top or if I wanted to change the font size and maybe make it bigger I could just highlight what you want to change and then where it says size you can make it bigger uh, so in this case I would select let's say 18 if you wanted to make something in color highlight what you want to change and then uh, look for the color icon and change that color okay so you have full control if you wanted to add an image you could go ahead and do so here as well uh, just put your cursor where you'd like the image to go let's say right there and then you click on the image button and go through the process you would have to in this case upload the image so let's go through that process let me show you how to add a, uh, an image I clicked on upload now it asks me to browse let's say I wanted to add this uh, starburst or uh, <laughs> let's go with the uh, no this is gonna be anyway let's go with the starburst so I click on the starburst and I click on upload and it will upload my image my graphic to the system so then uh, it's going to give you a few options now this image in itself is a very big image it's one 1809 pixels to be safe I would recommend to keep to use images no bigger than like 250 pixels let's say so just type it in there 250 and it will keep it proportional and resize it you don't necessarily have to worry about any other thing here uh, you just click on save and insert image and it added that image so now that I'm done, granted it doesn't look very nice, it's just <laughs> I, I gave it no thought, I'm just showing you how to add the image, but once you're done you click save now. And the moment you do, you'll notice how awesome this is. <laughs> Number one, here's the personal note from Nash, here's my text, the different size, different color, here's my graphic, my image, and there I signed it. So this is fantastic because now this is no one else has a newsletter like this one. I'm the only doTERRA member <laughs> in this case, let's just say as an example, I'm the only doTERRA member who has this newsletter. And so you will be the only new doTERRA member who has that newsletter who has, who that is just like you. It has your message, has your personal touch, your magic touch, and, and so forth. And then below it, we've got the, the pre-populated content. So this is the content that we have prepared for you and that we'll prepare each month, month in and month out, that will be different and unique and effective for you to reach out to your prospects and customers and of course your team members if you're using the other newsletter so uh, going back to how do I know let's say you wanted to change this this if you click on edit because it's automatic you will not be able to change it so see if I click on it it's all blue if it's all blue you cannot change it okay if it's all blue you cannot change it so you just click on the little red X at the, uh, the little X at the top and exit out of there so if uh, let's say I wanted to change the contact information I click on edit now when I click here it's not all blue see I can come in and I can change that information and so now I know that I can change this save when you're done and it will update the information uh, the same thing is true if you go to let's say uh, March savings and you click on edit now I want to change it you click on it and it's all blue you cannot change it so click on the red X at the click on the X at the top and, and to close it but if I click on mark your calendars and I click on edit look I can change it so and then you can type it in and put in the date 
if you need to link to a registration page let's say for example uh, you would click type in let's say www.mywebsite.com I, I know I misspelled it there let's what you do is you type in the registration address or the link or whatever and you highlight it and you look for the little icon at the top that looks like a chain link and when you put your mouse over it says link click there and it will allow you to type in the address where they need to go when they click on that link so here always put http colon slash slash www dot my website dot com and then you click insert and so what that does is if someone clicks on that link when they get your email they actually go to that place so when you're done I'm gonna put this on the right there you click save now and so now it updated the events section see how wonderful that is so uh, and lastly let's say you have um, your email your phone number has changed and you need to change it just click on edit and then here you can type your new number okay save when you're done always 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 save when you're done so that's how you edit your newsletter so it's fantastic you can uh, add personal notes like that you can change your picture just like edit and then go through that process of adding the new image uh, change your contact information and uh, fantastically so and magically so the content f for that month's newsletter will be added for you and so all you have to do is add your magic touch your personal touch um, if you want to let's say for some reason you're sending this out later in the month and uh, for some reason you don't let's just say you don't want to send out the um, the edit you don't want to send out this section uh, basically all that is the event section all that you do is click on edit delete what's there and then save and it will remove that block that area for you so you don't have to send that so keep in mind if you don't have an event just uh, make sure that you delete it uh, before delete that section before sending it out otherwise people will see your event here your event here okay uh, so when you're done or let's say the same is true here if you don't like beetroots and you <laughs> don't want to send this out you would click on edit just click on it delete it by hitting delete on your keyboard and then you click save now and that's how you get rid of that section see it's no longer there so once you're done customizing your newsletter and adding your magic touch you're going to click on next step plain text now this will automatically be generated by the system so all in all you won't really have to worry about anything on here so which means you click on the red button that says next step confirm and on the confirm it's basically a checklist uh, if you see something that's red that means there's a problem now here we see that there is a problem it's saying your list is empty so that's why there is a problem so you would likely not encounter this problem uh, everything else everything that's green is good uh, and so and everything that's yellow is also good it's just for you to see here they automatically add because it's in this case it's a free account um, they will automatically add a footer to your message so there's nothing you can do about that unless you upgrade your account um, so then everything is good everything is green then you could go ahead and send now or you can preview and test and if you preview and test you can even say open pop-up preview and a new window will open up and it will show you what your newsletter looks like and so this is what it looks like this is what people will see so then when you're done you click on send now of course because I have a problem here at the top zero recipients it will not allow me to send it but you would be able to send it so this button would be enabled for enabled for you uh, and if there is a problem click on resolve and it will allow you to change this to fix whatever problem there is so this concludes how to load up your newsletter customize it and send it out we covered quite a bit but remember the process is simple and once you do it a few times you will know how to do it with your eyes closed you're going to start a campaign you're going to select one of your existing templates and then you're going to add your magic touch and then you're going to send it out and that's it so if you have any questions let me know once again my name is Nash and I'm with growmyoilbusiness.com